The answer is no. 1.6.12 is not compatible with all devices. You have to check it out and see if it's a if it's the right app for your phone and update before you do it because after you do it the app won't work if it's not compatible. So I'm going to tell you, DJI has kind of let us down on this new app that they've got out. So my suggestion is until you know for sure if it's compatible with your device is to not do the update. So down below the last video, I put all the phones that they list for Apple, iOS, and Android in two different sections for the phones and devices that the app is good for and if your phone or a device is not in that list it's not going to work for your drone it's not going to work i would suggest you don't do it now i did the update on my motorola phone which i've had motorola phones for years and that's mainly what i've been using and the older app did work for the dji drone and i had no issues with it until until a couple of weeks ago when I made the mistake of doing the update. So then I reached out to uh, DJI and they did finally get back to me in two or three days and sent me a link for a download that was supposed to be compatible with my, um, my Motorola phone. So after I did that, it, it did open up because the new one wouldn't even open up. The six, the 1.6.12 wouldn't even open up. So they sent me uh, 1.6.8, and I tried that, and it would it would freeze up. It wouldn't connect to the drone and all that. And so I went back, sent them another another message on email. They sent me another one. And it was, the one they sent was 1.6.10. So I downloaded that and it was, it wasn't load. It just was not right. So then I went to this uh, channel and that, that's another thing before I talk about his channel. I reached out to a lot of guys that I've been watching drone reviews and, and all this stuff. And I always say, if you have a comment or a question, post it down below. And I did several of the bigger channels that, that say that. And none of them even replied or said boo. I mean, even if they would have said, ah, I can't help you, that would have been fine. But none of them said anything. I, I know you can't answer everybody on all your videos. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos. I try to answer everybody I can. And sometimes I can't, but I try to. So if you say post a question or a comment below, and I will get back to you. Don't say that in your video unless you intend to do it, you know. Now, this guy here, which I'm going to screw up his name, Gavin, probably, or his name, whatever. But he does excellent drone videos. And when you reach out to him, he did reply. He has a web page with all the old uh, apps for the D. GI drones. He has all the apps on that web page. <coughs> Excuse me. So I went to his web page and I downloaded the app that DJI suggested, which was 1.6.10 for my Motorola phones for the DJI Mini 2. And, uh, and lo and behold, it works. Now I will tell you that I was trying to fly before I logged into my uh, to my app with my email and password, and it wouldn't let me fly above 100 feet. So I did go ahead and log in. I have not gotten back on there and tried to fly it again to see if it would fly above 100 feet. So anyway, that's my update for today. Be aware of the 1.6.12 because it is not compatible with all phones and devices. So you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you do have a question, post it down below. And I will do my best to answer it or lead you in the right direction. I'll talk to you later.